Hi everyone, welcome to class. Let's continue our lesson with solved problems involving data handling. Today we will discuss the questions from the textbooks, page 262. Now look at example A. The table shows Shira's saving in 10 days. Okay, find the range, mode, median, and mean. Okay, to find range, take the maximum value minus with the minimum value. Okay, so 1 ringgit 50 cents minus 50 cents, the range will be 1 ringgit. Okay, to find mode, okay, find the highest frequency for the number of days. Okay, from the table, Shira saved 1 ringgit for 5 days. Okay, so the mode will be 1 ringgit. Now, find the median. To find the median, arrange Shira's saving in 10 days according to ascending order. Okay, write 50 cents 2 times, 1 ringgit 5 times because she saved 1 ringgit for 5 days, 1 ringgit 50 cents for 3 times. Okay, then find the value that is located in the middle. There are two values that is located in the middle, that is 1 ringgit and 1 ringgit. Okay, now find the average. 1 ringgit plus 1 ringgit divided by 2, we will get 1 ringgit. So the median is 1 ringgit. Now find the mean. Okay, to find the mean, find the total saving for 10 days. The total saving is 10 ringgit 50 cents divided by the total number of days that is 10 days so mean will be 1 ringgit and 5 cent now look at example b ben collected data of his friend's mess he represented the data as shown in the pictograph okay determine the range mode median mean of his friend's mess First, let's determine the range. Okay, from the pictograph, the highest mass is 32 kg and the lowest mass is 28 kg. Okay, to find the range, 32 kg minus 28 kg. Okay, the answer will be 4 kg. Now, find the mode. From the pictograph, the number of pupils with a mass of 28 kg is the most. So, the mode is 28 kilogram. Now find the median. Okay, to find the median, arrange the mass according to sending order. Five pupils with a mass of 28 kilogram. Three pupils with a mass of 30 kilogram. And two pupils with a mass of 32 kilogram. Now find the data that is located in the middle. Okay, we have two data, that is 28 and 30. Okay, 28 plus 30 divided by 2, the answer will be 29 kilogram. So the median is 29 kilogram. Okay, now find the mean. Okay, to find the mean, find the total mass of all the pupils, divide with the total number of pupils. Okay, so the total mass will be 294 divided by 10 pupils. Okay, the mean will be 29.4 kilogram. Now look at example C. The bar chart indicates the marks of Mr. Shankar's pupil for an environmental quiz. Okay, what is the range of their marks? From the bar chart, the highest mark is 70 and the lowest mark is 60. So range is 70 minus 60, so we will get 10. Okay, number 2. Is the medium of the marks for the quiz is equal to 62? Prove it. To find the median, arrange the marks that's obtained by the pupils in ascending order. Find the data that is located in the middle. Okay, we have 62 and 62. 
62 plus 62 divided by 2, we will get 62. Okay, just prove that median of the mark is 62. Okay, now calculate the mean of the marks for the quiz. Okay, to find the mean, find the total mark and divide with total number of pupils. So the total marks will be 632 and the total pupils will be 10. Okay, 634 divided by 10 and the mean will be 63.4. Now look at example D. The pie chart shows the duration of studying in hours for 10 pupils in a week. Determine mode, median and mean. Okay, first find the number of pupils for each hours. Okay, one hour is pupil. Five hour will be two pupils. Six hour will be four pupils. And seven hour will be three pupils. Okay, from the data we can say that mode is six hours which has the highest frequency median arrange the data in ascending order the median will be six okay mean okay find the total number of hours that is 56 divide by 10 pupils the mean will be 5.6 State the ratio of the number of pupils who study for 7 hours to the total number of pupils. Okay, the pupils that study for 7 hours is 3, the total number of pupils is 10. So the ratio of number of pupils who study for 7 hours to the total number of pupils is ratio 3 to 10. Okay, children, that's all for today. See you again. Bye.